Sound Goodenizer is a stereo maximizer enhancer plugin based on the Maximus sound process engine. Sound Goodenizer is actually a built in core plugin in FL Studio and it's quite famous and used by many famous artists in the industry because it gives that shininess and richness to any sound you can add it to. Sound Goodenizer comes with a big huge twisty knob that you turn from the left to the right. All the way to the left means there's zero output and all the way turned up to the right means there's 100% output which gives your sound that enrichness. You can select four different presets that come on this plugin which is A, B, C and D. Each of these different switches or presets have been carefully chosen, handcrafted, face locked by hyper celebrated bit polish Maximus presets. Every sound, every different preset will give you a different output. So let's have a look at the sound goodenizer now and see what we can do with it. Hey, what's up guys? Spab Music Production, most of you know me as Spab Beats and here we are now looking at this. So after a quick demonstration and explanation of what Sound Goodenizer is, why don't we have a look at how to use it. So first we're going to use it on vocals and then we'll use it on instruments. So basically it enriches the sound, that's the main point of it, and it makes it, makes it sound better in tone. So here I've made a quick singing. Now please don't judge me on this, alright? It is going to be quite bad. I made it there and there on the spot, so I'm going to play it. But I hope you guys like it. So this is what I've done, and it's got no effects. So I recorded without any effects. Let's have a quick listen to it. I am in my studio making beats. Yeah. If you call me, I'm too busy. Yeah, you know. FL Studio. Yeah, FL Studio. So, as you can see, pretty simple. Just messed around with it. <laughs> Don't tell me it's bad. Come on, you gotta hit the like button now. Come on, I'm singing my heart out here. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, love you guys. Alright, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add it to a channel effect. Let's say channel effect 20. I'm going to add sound goodenizer to it. And you guys are going to see it's going to sound 10 times better straight away as soon as I put it on. I am in my studio making beats. Yeah. So you can see when I if turn it on and off. me, I'm too busy. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh, oh. FL Studio Yeah FL Studio So we want to select the right sound and what we gotta do is play it and see what we like out of these four different modes I am in my studio making beats Yeah If you call me I'm too busy Yeah you know so every mode is different, like the A is more vibrant and makes the high sound stand out. The B is I, more of a mellow mid kind of sound. Me. The C is quite similar to A where there's just a little bit less of the highs coming in. And D is more of the mid-low kind of range. I am in my stu Pretty good for rapping this one actually. You could use that and some vocal enhancers, take down the highs a bit and the, the lows, it would actually make it sound a bit cool for rapping. D and C is cool for rapping and also A. Depends on what you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to leave this on A and I'm going to just give it, not the full, about 75%. I am him. Now, when we use it on vocals, it's pretty cool to add another effect here on the side called um reverb so we add a bit of reverb to it i am in my studio making beats turn it just halfway if you call me i'm too and then we can add another reverb on top and on this reverb we can to turn 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 the wetness up to 89 percent 
around 80, 89, 90 is pretty cool. And then we take the reverb down to about 5% output. I am in my studio. So if we just play this reverb, it gives it like that kind of a arena kind of reverb. I am in my studio making beats. Yeah. But we don't want to overdo it. So just a little bit. I am him. And then we can add like parametric EQ too. And we can use a preset here on the side, which is actually a vocal pre presence. Pretty cool preset that. As you can see, it's uh, got preset built in already, and we can use it. So it's already activated, we can play it. I am in my studio, making so it on, beats. So move on, off, yeah. and on. If you call me, I'm too busy, yeah, you know. Oh, oh, oh. And then you could also FL add studio. a fruity multiband compressor. Yeah. FL studio. And on, on here, you can add a preset studio, and vocal as well. So you can see, we've actually changed the sound a lot now. We've added two parametric EQ, so we added EQ, and then we compressed it here with just two presets. Sounds really good now. Now what you want to do is add the soft fruity clipper. And this will prevent anything from, from clipping, they have can't even talk. And pretty much we got the sound we wanted now. Obviously, I recorded it quite blank uh, on a microphone and some kind of frequency came on from my phone, so it sounds a bit funny. Uh, keep your phone off and stuff, obviously, when you're close to the phone, um, close to the mic. But let's listen to it now. I am in my studio making beats, yeah. You gotta subscribe. <laughs> if you call me, I'm too Come busy. On. Yeah, you know. No. Oh, oh, oh. FL, FL Studio. Studio, bitch. Yeah, FL <laughs> Studio. All right, cool. So, sound good to know is that is really cool in this way to use your vocals. Obviously, if we turn it off, this is how it would sound like. I am in my studio making beats. And let's put the yeah. effect on. If you call me, I'm too busy, yeah, you know, oh, 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 FL Studio. You can take the reverb yeah. down a bit if you want. FL Studio. And you can also add a bit of delay if you want it, like a delay kind of sound. So delay free is pretty cool. I am I am and what you do is you would turn it down to about really low. I am in my studio making beats, yeah. And it got a lot of different presets here you could use on this actual um, plugin, like saturated, pretty cool for vocals. I am in my studio making beats, yeah. If you call me, I'm too busy, yeah, you know. Oh, oh, oh. FL Studio. So there you go, guys. I hope you like that. So this is how I would do my vocals if I was recording something. Obviously, I'd go in there and clean up the vocals, like the silences and stuff, because it's making like a hissing noise and stuff. So I would maybe use a different software to fix it up, like Audio Pro Tools or Wavepad or something to clean up the vocals a bit. Now, let's have a look how we could use it in an instrument. So let's open up an instrument like Flex. And I'm just going to select the uh, synth plug. And I'm just going to press a few keys on here just for demonstration.
So really simple. So it goes like this. Let's just make it a bit swingy. Let's move it down a bit. And maybe just move it across a little bit. Sorry I'm being really picky, I just don't like it sounding crap to start off with. That's alright, that'll do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to a different channel and let's add Sound Goodenizer to it. And you can see you can use the same settings on actual different instruments. Pretty cool. This is pretty cool. As you can see, I can just add a few effects, change the sound. And there you go. That's how you can use Sound Goodenizer on your sound and different instruments to make it sound good. Obviously, there's no right or wrong. People have been asking what is the right settings for vocals, what are the right settings for sounds. There isn't none. It's what you want to achieve. As a music producer, you got to know what your outcome of the beat is and what you want to achieve. So this is my advice to you. There's no right or wrong. Each mode has its purpose. Use the mode correctly in your beat to achieve your output how you want it. And what you're trying to achieve is all in your mind and what you're trying to get from the system is how you use it. So that's from me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Apart from that, been great showing you and showcasing you the sound good and nice I built inside FL Studio. Those of you that are new watching my videos, hope you subscribe. And I've got a lot more tutorials, VST drum kits, sound fonts, um, Nexus presets. We've got loads of stuff. Check out our website and I'll see you guys soon. From that... Peace out and see you guys soon. Ciao. <laughs>